In this video, I show you how to prepare for a disaster in the midst of a real disaster. This is Terry, and this is a video unlike others that I've done before. We are in the midst of a disaster going on right now, or about to happen, Hurricane Matthew coming through Orlando. It's hitting Florida very soon. we got a lot going on. Now, you're going to have the advantage of watching this after it has already occurred, so you'll know what has happened, whether it was really terrible or if there was, wasn't as bad as we thought, and that's okay too. But I thought, let me take some time here to show you real world stuff of how we're doing it, what we do, and some ideas I have for you, whether you're going through a hurricane like we are in Florida currently, or whatever disaster it is for you, because we all go through that from time to time. See, right now, matter of fact, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk over here. We're getting really real here on this, and I'm gonna open the door and walk out side. Okay, here we are. I'm right out here in the midst of this. You don't see it, but there's a little bit of light rain right now that's coming down, and we're looking at uh, dark skies and all that. The bulk of the hurricane, I understand, is supposed to hit at 5 in the morning, so that's about a few hours from now. Uh, it'll be 5, but during the night it's going to gradually intensify, and then all day, uh, or like 12, 5 a.m. till 5 p.m. the next day, we have a curfew, and so you're not allowed to get out and drive around, stuff like that, which makes sense, you know, because you get to people off the roads, it generally makes it a little bit better, and we just have to survive for oh, a day, not a big deal. But it's really important that we know these kind of things are going to happen. I'm going to move over here so you can see me a little bit better. You can see some of the Orlando, what it looks like in the background, and what's going on as we see, uh, the, as we get ready for this. But uh, a disaster is going to happen. This is part of life, and so very important for you to have a plan. Put your plan in place. All businesses, all people are going to run into it from time to time. You don't want to have to cross that bridge when we get there, not a good idea. Good thing to do is to think, okay, what are we going to do to put these plans in place? We do this a lot, for instance, in speaking. I talk to bureaus regularly and meeting planners and say, hey, look, here I am in Orlando, Florida. You've got a lot of activities, a lot of meetings going on in the winter, and often they have snowstorms and uh, the disasters are happening up north, and that means people can't get on airplanes. They've canceled the flight. It's not safe to do it, and that's okay. If you're not going to do it, if it's not safe. But we're here and I can help out in that. I know many other speakers that are based here in this area. We could probably find someone that can step in and do a professional job that will be good if your speaker hasn't been able to make it and won't be able to make it for whatever reason. Call us anytime. We understand this is an emergency situation. We jump in, figure out what to do given that circumstance and make it happen have things like that in place for you. You want to make sure that you're ready to go whatever's going to happen. For instance, when we're looking at storms like this, we know it's important to have batteries and uh, have flashlights. As a matter of fact, look at this. I'm going to show you right here what I've got right now. got my little flashlight. As a matter of fact, I've got two of them. Not one, but two. So I've got some backup. I'm starting to get a little bit of rain right here right now, so I'm going to step back inside. I don't want to get water all over my camcorder. There we go. Okay, so I'm back inside now, safe and sound. And uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have those steps necessary. Have the water ready, bottles of water, have some uh, energy bars and uh, some things that are available for you so that you can uh, at least have something to eat and bring more than just for yourself. Bring it for others too. That's why I like to carry two flashlights. I've got one in case it goes bad, but I could also share it with another person. So they have one, I have one, etc. and even a few more if necessary. Think about what you need in life and the necessities in life have in double measure. That's something that I wish I would have said, but Balthazar Gracian, that Jesuit priest from the 15th century over in Spain, said it very well. The things that are necessary in life, you want to have extras of them. Don't have only one copy of it. So put your plans together. Make sure that you've got plans for your own disaster, and you want to kind of think like Bear Bryant. You know, the old legendary football coach at the University of Alabama, who uh, had all kinds of plans and contingency plans and backups of backups of backups. If they didn't do this, they were going to do that. If they did this, he knew he was going to do that. And he had that in place. Take the time to do it. It's not something that you want to just uh, casually think about or make it up as you go. 
crossing that bridge when you get to it kind of thinking can be very dangerous and even deadly. Plan in advance, do it the smart way, and you will get ahead. Also, that relates to relationships. When you're talking about relationship marketing, think about what could happen, what you need to do, and how you need to put these things in place. So I will look forward to hearing from you. Let me know what your thoughts are on this and the importance of planning for disasters, how you prepare for building relationships, and what to do if there's something that goes wrong. These are all real important. You can get in touch with me over at my website, terrybrock.com. That's T-E-R-R-Y, B-R-O-C-K, terrybrock.com. And you can reach me on there with all the major channels of Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest. Uh, you know, I'm on a whole bunch of them. You'll see them over there. So I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much for joining me. And we're going to go back now and get ready. Ooh, it's picking up a little bit more in steam there. So we're going to get ready for the major hurricane coming through here.